Hello, my name is Jim. Welcome to my booktube channel about books, reading and stuff. I want to do the Bring Back Browsing tag created by Karen at the Roving Reader. I was tagged by Alan at Big Hard Books and Reading and I also saw Kim at Middle of the Book March do this tag. It's an interesting tag. The idea is that in this day and age with the internet, with online to access to many things, we don't browse like we used to. First prompt, magic of dis discovery. Share a book you found while browsing that you may not have otherwise discovered. Okay, I found. I will use my camera because this puts everything in reverse. I found this while browsing in my local bookshop, a Georgian bookshop, which is why it's in Georgian. This is Tolkien's Arian and Luthien. I can't read the Georgian, I can read the letters, but I can't read most of the words. Georgian has, a, for Tolkien, a very appropriate elven-like script. It does have some lovely plates in it. It wasn't particularly expensive. I think it was at 16 Larry, which is about five dollars. But it has some lovely plates in it. Uh, I can also see that this book goes into verse later on. Um, I'd love to be able to read this in Georgian. I think it will be a big challenge for me. I can look at the plates and it's in the... I don't have many hardbacks. It's a nice hardback and it's got the bookmark as well. Second prompt, expanding world. Share a book that's made you view things from a different perspective or expose you to new ideas. For that I choose this one, On Immunity by Eula Biss. It's interesting coming out of the pandemic. This is all about vaccinations and the problems around vaccinations, the myths around vaccinations and why people should be vaccinated or why some people think you shouldn't be vaccinated. It's a very interesting book. Third prompt, open to change. Share a book that has changed who you are as a person or altered your day-to-day -day habits. This one, I found this browsing the second-hand bookshop, the second-hand books in Prospero's. This was just five Larry, which is less than two dollars. Uh, Blood, Sweat and Tea. This is uh, by a London ambulance driver. Uh, it started as a blog and it became a novel about the day-to-day -day life of an ambulance driver. But seeing his blog, his book, Tom Reynolds, inspired me to start my own blog. And from that blog, it inspired me to start a YouTube channel. So this has radically changed my life and I found this through browsing. I wasn't looking for this book, it just was on the secondhand shelves and it looked interesting and it is very interesting. I'd recommend Blood, Sweat and Tea. Prompt number four, browse a bookstore, library or a friend's shelves. Here I've got about 20 seconds of footage of a bookstore in Tbilisi selling secondhand books. Some will be in English, some in Russian, some in other languages. And finally, who do I tag? I will tag Criminoli, David Wiley, Jennifer Chastine, and Bartle's Bookshelf. If you like this video, you can like and subscribe below, and I will see you on the next video. Goodbye.